hello all welcome to clap technologies so in this video i'll explain you how you can learn mule soft from scratch within 25 days okay if you are a fresher or if you are from non it background who want to uh, migrate from non it to it um, field to learn some cloud technology mule soft is perfect for you because uh, if you don't uh, want to learn any much coding like in MuleSoft I, I don't say like MuleSoft is that much pretty easy that uh, you can uh, just learn in uh, something uh, just doing nothing okay but you have to work hard if you want to learn any technology or anything you need to work hard and you need to uh, practice uh, that is the, that is must for anything but if you are from a non IT background you would like to move to IT background MuleSoft is uh, best for option for you you can learn it from scratch with our course uh, within just 25 days you need to spend uh, two to three hours per day uh, one hour to learn the content like uh, one hour to uh, view the lesson and uh, making the notes and one to two hours for practice if you can spend three hours per a day to practice MuleSoft you can um, with the help of our course okay so you can definitely within 25 days or within one month maybe five days extra grace period if you can add within one month you would handle uh, your mule soft projects by your own that's for sure okay so to do this uh, what I, I am planning is like I would like to explain what is the topics and I mean what are the topics you need to learn uh, if you would like to become a mule soft developer what are the topics you must know and uh, all the topics we are going to cover in our course so how to access this course and uh, uh, more details we will discuss and uh, please watch this video till end i will give you some tips like uh, what are the best practices or how you can uh, learn in much easier than yourself so please watch till end and if you are visiting our channel for the first time please subscribe like and share our videos okay so let's get started so what are the main topics you would like to learn uh, if you are from non it background you need to do you need to learn some basics if you are from it background and want to change your domain from other technologies to cloud uh, cloud technologies like mulesoft so this course is actually from actually for freshers for intermediate uh, developers or from non it background uh, users anyone anyone can learn from this course because we have covered everything from scratch with a theoretical explanation of all the basic topics and hands-on experience for all the each and every topic of MuleSoft we are going to do hands-on okay so let's see what are the content available here so this session zero is for basics and if you would like to learn uh, what is web service what is an api variable json data these are all the basics before you learn mulesoft you need to be aware of all these things so this is for uh, specifically for freshers and non it students okay so you need to know what is http service what is endpoint url flow subflow private flow what is message structure what is database these are all the basics you need to learn okay in our session one we will discuss about how you can uh, set up environment variables uh, how you can set up your system by installing java maven postman and everything and how you can do the anypoint studio setup anypoint studio is the ide ide where we are going to implement our projects and uh, how you can set up your cloud hub account github account to manage the code and all and uh, this is some, sim some simple walkthrough like how you can utilize this anypoint platform how you can um, uh, utilize anypoint studio what are the different uh, options or features available so in the session one we will discuss about this and uh, apart from the session one you need to learn about uh, uh, what is the api life cycle first and uh, some sample api which we are going to build real time api we are going to build a real time project uh, i forgot to say this we are going to build a real time project in this course from scratch from step by step you are going to build this uh, real time project in this course so to do that you need to be aware of what is api life cycle in mulesoft specific to mulesoft and uh, this is as the options we are we have explained all these things in our uh, course okay and then this is the use case which we are going to build uh, we are going to build an api uh, rest api from scratch with all these details we have explained what is the requirements uh, how you, can, you need to gather the re uh, requirement and uh, to build this particular api how you you need to proceed like if you are a fresher or if you don't have anyone in your team to help how you can handle this project from by your own 
okay so you need to get the requirements as part of requirement gathering we have explained about uh, uh, what is rest api and again rest api basics uh, different methods and different status codes how you can do that so these are all we explained already everything okay in session 2 uh, we are going to design our rest api uh, by using raml so rest api is using raml spec right so uh, we have explained all the things step by step uh, like how to build the raml by using design center and how you can uh, form the query params qra params and uh, how you can frame the error and success responses how you can test your raml api everything these are all the different topics and these are all the multiple different topics everyone should know if you are going to attend any uh, interview mule soft interview as a developer you must know all these topics otherwise uh, we, we can treat you as a fake because uh, in our day to day mule soft development we definitely use all these topics and all these uh, steps so if you are aware of all these things you will you are uh, treated as a real time mule soft developer not only theoretical you we sh you should uh, practice it and you should get some practical experience also okay so how you can publish to any point exchange what is basic endpoint and how you can uh, implement the portal documentation and how you can test your api product exchange all these things are come under session 2 so in our session 3 we are going to develop our mule application for our real time project so to do that uh, we have um, this list of items this list of topics uh, we, i'll provide a link for you to download this course content also on these topics also so you must aware of these topics if you would like to attend any mule soft interview or uh, uh, you want to start your career in mule soft as an it guy okay so how to add module in studio what are the external how to externalize the properties how to secure the properties everything how what are the environment different environments available in cloud hub how you can create them what about form.xml file these are all come under session 3 as part of development as we are going to develop the real time project uh, we focused on all the topics and all the uh, features which are related to day to day mule soft developer life as a mule soft developer how you can work in a project so in that part point of view we have framed this course and we have framed list of items okay so how you can create different configurations files because if you are a fresher you will feel some uh, hiccups here in this uh, steps in your real time projects if you don't know all these things because these are all the basics okay so flow reference how you can use it what is auto discovery how to use choice router for if else kind of uh, requirement how can you debug your application all these things will come under session 3 as part of uh, development our session 4 is deployment as part of deployment we have different deployment strategies available in mulesoft so we actually uh, explained everything about different deployment options theoretically and we have a hands-on deployment of uh, i mean hands-on sessions of how you can do cloud hub deployment in different ways so we have three different ways majorly to deploy your application in cloud hub so we have explained everything these things uh, step by step by doing a hands-on experience we explained everything um, real time okay so once you watch our videos you will feel that you you no need to um, i mean for all the topics which we have listed here you no need to refer any other tutorial i can say this for sure because we have explained from scratch from first step to last step end to end you can just blindly follow our tutorials you will learn a lot of things okay so these are the topics come under deployment session and how you can create a client application to test this application so these are all the main topics major topics of deployment and error handling for any coding language or any other software tool error handling is the heart because uh, you need to handle different kind of errors before you uh, deploy your application in broad okay so as part of this error handling in mule 4 we have different kind of error handling strategies and um, uh, we actually gone through everything uh, theoretically and we have uh, discussed uh, each and every practical example by implementing the flows error handling flows from scratch 
so we have done all the hands on session this is the actually the point points are looking four points here i mean uh, four uh, topics only here but if you visit our course uh, we have uh, spent uh, two to three hours for this section itself to explain everything from scratch okay so that that much time you need to uh, spend for this error handling to learn um, complete idea about it and complete um, hands on experience okay so then uh, before we are going to session 6 which is security we need to learn more things about i mean some more things how you can structure your new application so these are all the different uh, topics come under this topic like um, how to encapsulate global elements in a separate flow how you can do error handling a separate flow and these are all the small topics only uh, so you can learn it uh, in 30 minutes maybe these are all the small things but these are all the main main things but small things so don't neglect these topics okay so api related connectivity this is the major major topic in mulesoft uh, because uh, all the mulesoft applications are uh, focused on api related connectivity approach only nowadays so you need to learn much about what are the different layers available in api related connectivity and how you can differentiate them how you can um, connect one layer to another layer how you can handle errors in different layers or something how you can handle security as well in the api related approach so we have discussed everything in detail in our course and our session six is security so if you would like to build any application or anything security is the main thing without security if you do anything that is just lost you will lose everything so you need to make sure your api and your application everything is secured uh, by using all the different uh, secured uh, uh, policies or security mechanisms available in MuleSoft. So this is also a major topic you need to focus on while you are attending interviews. You need to focus more on the security and error handling topics as well because you will expect more questions in these two topics because these two sections are the heart of any coding development or any anything any development. If you would like to develop any software, you need to first focus on security and error handling. So. So as part of MuleSoft, uh, we have a lot of API policies and we have um, HTTPS service, SSL handshake and we have property level encryption, everything. We actually in the first uh, video, we will, we will be uh, discussing about uh, what is the security and how you can uh, implement different uh, levels of security for your MuleSoft application. Okay, that that is an extra video we have added here. That name is not mentioned here. So the first introduction video of this session itself has a lot of information because there we have explained about uh, what are the different kinds of security levels we can provide for your MuleSoft application. So that is the best one uh, you need to learn. Okay. So now then we have all the hands-on development for this one way SSL, two way SSL and all and coming to session 7 data transformation uh, data transformation is the main part uh, in mulesoft i'm in, not in, not in mulesoft if any if you are taking any integration uh, technology like uh, dell bumi or uh, ibm middleware something any anything if you would like to use any integration tool data transformation you need to learn but what what is the cool thing about mule soft is mule has a data view transformation it is specific to mule uh, it is a very easy to learn because this the this is the one i mean this is the part where you are going to write some code in mule soft other than this everything might most probably everything is just a configurable things you need to do only data view is the one where you are going to write some code Related to data view uh, syntaxes and all specific to MuleSoft. So this data view is used to transform data from one format to another format, and we have a uh, lot of features to form the uh, response to the end endpoint, another endpoint, request and response to the another endpoint. We have a lot of features, lot of operators in data view. We have explained everything uh, from scratch, step by step, hands on experience, hands on sessions in this particular session seven okay then apart from the till session 7 uh, we have actually um, took one real time uh, uh, project one real time use case one real time api we have uh, started from gathering the requirements to deploying designing sorry designing developing deploying security everything so from session 0 to session 7 you can say it is a complete pack complete package of mulesoft real time project which you can do from 
I mean, in your day to day mules of developer job, also you need to follow everything from session 0 to session 7 because all are the things which we are going to work as a mules of developer in our real time uh, job profile okay and this session 8 is the extra session which we have added because in MuleSoft uh, or any other integration tool we have to come across different kinds of different kind of requirements you need to integrate different kind of uh, third party uh, services into your application so in session 8 we have covered a lot of uh, main integration scenarios like a salesforce integration you will get definitely you will uh, you will be working on all the uh, I mean, you, you, at least you will be working on any of this integration in your real-time project. Uh, Salesforce integration, you can integrate Salesforce to MuleSoft, ActiveMQ integration, file connector, database, how you are going to send uh, email to by using SMTP connector, how you can use the SOAP service, consume REST service, these are all the major things apart from the because uh, this session 8 uh, we have different kind of integrations right this will not come to i mean this will not uh, use in each and every project based on your project requirement you can be you will be working on any of any one of these uh, integration but till session 7 you will be doing uh, everything for every project so that is why session 0 to session 7 is more important for you equally session 8 is also important for you because you will uh, you will learn a new different kind of integrations how you can integrate the different third party connectors into your uh, new soft application so i hope uh, you understand uh, these things like what are the different topics you need to uh, keep in mind and you need to learn in order to become a MuleSoft developer or in order to attend any MuleSoft developer interview you need to focus on these topics and if you would like to learn everything from scratch everything with different complete hands-on experience uh, we have already designed this course and we have uh, spent a lot of time to create this course to create these resources and uh, we have uh, completed this video tutorials in English language and uh, we have completed this course and we have published this course in our website um, I will provide a link in the description box so if anyone want to enroll this course from us you can directly enroll in our website and you can start learning so, and if you have any doubts like in this course once you enroll this course if you have any doubts you can uh, ask us by using telegram or you can uh, write us to our email ID I will provide all the information uh, in description box you can uh, email to us you can uh, ask in our telegram channel or uh, in our forum we have in our website we have a forum also so in our forum also you can shoot out your questions we will uh, ready to respond and uh, yeah if, and uh, one more thing apart from this uh, self-learning course uh, if anyone having any doubt any student any single student have any doubt we will set up a uh, separate doubt session on over weekends in uh, saturday or sunday with the tutor it means with me okay so i am the one uh, the tutor for this samuel soft course and uh, i have designed this course and uh, created video tutorials uh, with the practical experience step by step and so if you have any doubts you can uh, drop a mail to clarktechnologies at the gmail.com so they will uh, redirect the mail to me i will take a doubt session for you so that's that's enough if you have any single doubt uh, in the one week practice just do practice for one week note down all the questions uh, we will set up a session doubt session in saturday or sunday so that i will explain your doubts and i'll clarify your doubts if you have okay i hope this is useful for you so if you want to enroll this course please enroll it today itself so that you will uh, have you will save some days you because uh, new soft is a high demanding course uh, if you start learning from today it will take one month to you to get complete knowledge and complete grip on this to uh, handle any real time project so you can apply jobs a little faster okay thank you Let's meet in another video.